In this video, I want to focus on why I shoot black and white in camera, even though I'm shooting in RAW. Hi guys, my name is Steve Gerard, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I shoot black and white on the back of my camera, even though I'm shooting in RAW, and I most of the time want all these pictures to end up in colour. Now, because I am shooting in RAW, I'm not shooting in JPEG, it means that all the color information is gonna still be in the file. It's just the previews on the back of the camera that I'm seeing in black and white. And the reason for that is that I want to eliminate color from the frame and just see exactly where the light is falling and concentrate on the composition and the framing without the distraction of color. Now shooting this way is obviously not gonna be for everybody, but you might wanna try it out, maybe on a personal shoot or something like that before you're actually shooting a wedding or a page shoot. I started doing this in about 2012 after a little tip from my friend Fer Waristi, and I've been shooting like that ever since. So I shoot weddings, concerts, portraits, everything that I shoot, I shoot in black and white, and then I cool in black and white but then I edit in color. From a typical shoot probably around 15 to 20 percent of my images actually end up in black and white when I deliver them but by shooting with black and white on my preview I can just pay attention to lighting which is the number one thing. Any distracting elements in the frame are easily recognizable in black and white for me. Sometimes when you look at a color image on the back of the camera, the fact that the colors are not exactly right can be distracting. Whereas I know that I'm gonna be able to correct the colors when I get the images into Lightroom and Photoshop. For me, shooting in black and white instantly declutters the frame. And a lot of the times I'm shooting really fast if I'm shooting at a gig or if I'm shooting at a wedding things tend to be happening fairly fast for a lot of the time that I'm shooting. So being able to quickly look at the image and see where the light is falling and see where the shadows are and if there's any distracting elements in the frame, just get my composition nailed in and see it very quickly. For me, shooting with black and white previews makes that whole process more efficient and quicker on the day. Another reason why I shoot in black and white is a great image is basically great light mixed with great composition and a great moment. And those three things I can see really fast without the distraction of color. So it helps me get it right in camera and that also helps me speed up my editing so I'm not dodging and burning to get the light and the shadows in the right place later on. Now I'm shooting on a Canon 5D Mark III at the moment and that means that when I look through the viewfinder, everything kind of looks as it is in color but on the previews, I'm seeing everything in black and white. Now, if you're shooting mirrorless, you're gonna be seeing black and white through the viewfinder, and that can help speed up this whole process even more. But I'm just checking my images on the back of my Canon 5D Mark III just to double check the exposure and the composition and where the light is whenever I need to do that. For me, this probably works best when you're using spot metering, but have a, have a play with it, like try it on your camera and see how it works for you and if you like shooting this way. And if you don't, just switch it back to color. When people see that I shoot this way and they see those black and white images on the back of the screen, sometimes they're confused. They think that I'm just shooting the whole thing in black and white, which obviously I don't wanna do that. Maybe you do, but it's definitely one of the things that intrigues people when they find out that I do this and they want to try it for themselves quite a lot. And I know quite a few photographers who've seen me doing this and then tried it for themselves and then they've stuck with it. And then obviously others won't. So it just comes down to personal taste, but I really like it and I know other people that do as well. So maybe you want to give it a try. So to set your camera to shoot in black and white like mine, you first need to go to the image menu and let's just make sure that you're shooting in raw so in image quality make sure that this is set to raw and not jpeg if you shoot jpeg you are going to be getting black and white images and the color is never going to come back if you shoot raw you can shoot black and white but the color will all be still there in the file and once you've done that we're going to go to picture style and you can see here you've got multiple options this is in my canon 5d mark 3 so your camera might look a bit different but the one that we want is monochrome monochrome is black and white so we're going to click on that and once you've got that all you need is monochrome and shoot in raw and you are good to go 
so on an image like this you can see it's actually a very busy image and in color it's going to have a lot of distractions i'm shooting through a window so everything that's behind me is reflected into the window and then there's going to be stuff inside the room that's going to be all kinds of different colors but i want to take all of that distraction away and just make sure that i can see the guy through the window playing the violin clearly and that the light on him is good and that there's nothing else that's going to be dragging my eye away from the subject here again same venue same wedding but i just want to make sure that i can see the focus of the frame which is the bride being greeted by her guest and on the left hand side we've also got one of the guests with her little boy there but again it's quite a busy scene and we're shooting through glass on the left hand side not on the right hand side just the colors might be a bit weird if i was looking at it in color and that might be distracting and all i want to see is the composition and the light again on the dance floor good light good moment just a fleeting moment on a wedding day where the little girl is paying attention to the musicians and we can see straight away how nice the light is on her face and get that moment. Lots going on in the background, but the focus is on this cool guy on the front. So here again, I'm shooting through glass. I don't do that that much, but I like this image with the bride and her bridesmaids. And again, it's all about the light. On a wedding day, we're looking for these moments which happen really fast and I want to be able to see very quickly that the light is good and interesting and the composition is a good one and losing the distraction of colour definitely helps me on an image like this. And then when I'm shooting gigs, the lighting can be completely all over the place. Sometimes it's that really gnarly red, which is a photographer's nightmare when you're shooting bands, but it doesn't really matter that much. All I want to make sure is that the light and the focus and everything like that is working within the frame. Fleeting moments on a wedding day, nailing my exposure, trying not to burn out those highlights. I love images like this. This is actually my son, Elliot. Just works really well in black and white. This is golden hour. So if I was looking at this image on the back of my camera in color, it might look like it's a bit too red and a bit saturated, but that's the kind of thing that I can sort out in post-production. I don't want that to be distracting when I'm taking the picture. Same thing with another live show, paying attention to where those lights are actually falling on the faces. That might be like a horrible red light, but all I need to know is that the light is falling in the right place without the distraction of some intense color on it. So if you call your images in Photo Mechanic, what you'll see is all the images from the day will come into Photo Mechanic still in black and white because Photo Mechanic is pulling the jpeg preview from the raw file so the raw file has all the color but photo mechanic is just taking the information from the jpeg preview so actually i think it helps culling the images as well not having that distraction of color because you can just see that it's exposed correctly or not and make the decision based purely on the light, the composition and the moment which are the three uh, things that make a great image really and same thing in narrative select which is what i use for my culling you'll see everything here is in black and white but then if i load these into lightroom you will see what happens next so when you load everything into lightroom for the first time you might have a slight panic attack because everything is showing up as black and white still but you'll notice that within a few seconds all the colors will start popping into lightroom and you can breathe a sigh of relief and start editing from there. I hope you found this video useful or at least interesting. And if you did, just give me a like down below and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.